have here a wayward sinner in distress. My, you look quite roughened up, my friend. What sort of business did you get into to grant yourself such a tethering up? Ah, you owe money to a shady loan company. <laughs> well then, what kind of monster would I be if I left you here all battered and bleeding? Why do I care? Well, if we're speaking out of honesty, I've seen you around here before, and I think you're quite the interesting character. You seem to have some sort of reputation of being a little rogue, and I must say, I admire that. Well, enough of the chitter-chatter. You're bleeding an awful lot. I think I'll take some time out of my busy schedule and help you. Ah-ah-ah, uh -uh -uh. don't ask any more questions. My reasonings are not relevant in the matter. Unless you want me to walk away and let those loan sharks finish you off. I'm not opposed to that in the slightest. However, the choice is yours. Consider this a form of charity work for a little project I'm a part of. You want my help? Well then, I'd be delighted to help you. But unfortunately, I cannot. I wish you the best on your debt endeavors. Hmm. What's this? You're groveling at my feet like a peasant. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see now. You've heard of me through my radio show. Well, you didn't tell me you were a sinner of taste. I admire those who prefer radio over those noisy picture boxes. That lets me know you're one of the more sensible sinners of hell. What's that? You do prefer the noisy picture boxes? And here I was about to take an ounce of pity on you. Anyways, I'll leave you to your injuries. What the? Release me right now! I said, release me before I worsen your injuries. That's what I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> what now? Protect you. Protect you? <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? You'll do... anything, you say? My, my, we have quite the beggar on our hands, now don't we? Hmm. Huh. All right. Why don't we chat over some coffee? Yes, I do believe I have the time. Come with me. After you. Hello. Table for two? Yes, my dear. And do me a favor and just put in our orders right away. A black coffee and a regular for them. Thank you. Uh, okay. While we wait for that, why don't we discuss this anything you speak of doing in exchange for my protection? What exactly does anything mean to you? Or rather, let's start with this. Tell me more about yourself, your situation. How did you end up in this predicament with these loners? Ah, classic. A loan taken out, out of pure desperation. You knew you'd never be able to pay it back, but you figured you wouldn't have to deal with it until later. Common mistake. 
I can only assume you're still desperate. I mean, you're speaking to the radio demon, after all. Here's your coffee, folks. Thank you, my dear. That will be all. Here. But, oh, but thank you, sir. As I was saying, may I ask, do you know what my protection entails? Surely you know that doesn't come for free, and I know you know that. If you looked like you didn't, I wouldn't have brought you here. Yes, I think we can make a compromise. You know that little charity project I mentioned earlier? It will house you for free, so long as you join the path to redemption. Free meals, a room all to yourself, and it's completely rent-free. You owe none of the staff nothing. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Yes, well, it's all very true, my dear. Very true. In fact, I'd be delighted to recruit you myself. My protection? Oh, yes. We were just discussing that, weren't we? Well, I suppose I'll accept this. Under two conditions. First condition. You will stay at the Hasbun Hotel that I mentioned earlier and attempt to redeem yourself. So I can watch you fail, of course. <laughs> If I'm going to protect you, I'd like to see you put on a show for me. And condition number two. In exchange for my protection, I ask for your soul. Yes, you heard me correctly. For my protection, I ask for your soul. Do we have a deal? 